Start with Bob Schron. Afternoon, Coach. Hi, Bob. Hi, Coach. Um, Coach, just a quick thing about uh, last se last season. Almost from the beginning of training camp, you were saying what an emphasis you had on how well you thought the defense was coming, what was forming. After you watch Jeff, his defense, you know, I, I hadn't realized how good he, you know, Innocent I hadn't realized how, how good he was at ball hawking. So you have Jeff and Tristan, and obviously Marcus, Jalen, uh, Jason. I mean, you probably have the makings of a real good uh, defensive team. Uh, could you comment on that, please? Thank you. I think we have the makings of a capable defensive team, yes. I'm not sure that we have shown that we're a good defensive team by any means. So big difference between the two of those. I mean, um, last year, I think going in the year, a lot of people didn't think we'd be very good defensively, but it was a, you know, a real team-wide commitment to be great on that end of the floor. Um, and, you know, I think that that was something that, helped buoy us at the start. It showed true most of the playoff run. Uh, at times we weren't as good, uh, but for the most part, I thought we hung our hat on that end of the floor because it gives you a chance to win. This team has had its moments. It's improved in the last you know, three games, um, four games over the first couple, um, but you know, we're not where we want to be defensively by any means. Some of that is, you know, guys, that are new um, picking up schemes. And some of that is, is we do have some good defenders and we do have some areas we have to manage. Gary Washburn. Hey, Brad. Um, this first, the second road trip of the season, it's obviously different from the bowl because you're in one place and you guys are able to hang out some. You guys are at the pool doing things in Florida. How is this different from a normal road trip and is it better for you guys to be closer when you don't have as much to do, the limits of the pandemic? Like how is kind of the team coping with being on the road during this season? That's a good question. Um, first of all, we haven't been at the pool in Indiana or Detroit. <laughs> it hasn't. Um, and there's not really much to do, right? Like a lot of the areas that we've been around, I talked about, you know, how, um, you know, I haven't spent a ton of time downtown, but how, you know, Indianapolis was really, really empty. Um, you know, where we stayed this time was, I thought, just not a lot open, not a lot, not a lot around, obviously. Um, and, you know, it's the pandemic has affected everyone. So when you are traveling, the, the chance to congregate in our own situation is in huge ballrooms, but really well spaced with masks on. So it's still unique. Um, even more unique, I'd say, than the bubble. When you got into our meal room at Disney, it was a small space, really. And so even when we watched film, it was all, you know, 30 people, <clears throat> 35 people in our travel party that were all in there together. And you really did feel like you were, you know, all in this together all the time, right? It was just an experience that was unlike any other you've ever experienced. This, I think we have to just continue to have team meals when we can. We have to continue to congregate when we can. We have to continue when we meet and when we're in the gym to build that because it's, you know, there are a lot of challenges with the testing and other things to do that. So it's a good question. I don't, you know, we're, we're going to do everything we can to build that camaraderie and that togetherness. Um, but it is unique to uh, any travel that I've ever experienced before. Final question for coach Chris Ryan. Hey, Brad, uh, you mentioned yesterday that the uneven unevenness of uh, performances is kind of something you had uh, anticipated and you mentioned in the preseason. You also said that you're going to kind of develop the identity of the group through the year. Have you sensed here early on that the group has started to establish the identity? And if so, what is it? Uh, I know what we need to do to be good. Um, and, um, you know, we're at least to be as good as we can be. And so I think that, you know, those are things that we talk about every day that, you know, you've seen flashes of at times, but the other team is out there too. I, I've known from the day we started training camp 
And, um, you know, as I've watched this group that we were going to, there's going to be challenges and there's going to be times that we're just going to have to, um, you know, chip away at improving because, you know, it is what it is. And I think that ultimately um, we've shown that we are capable of playing good basketball. Uh, it's going to take a ton of effort on both ends of the court. And, you know, uh, when we are slow to react defensively, uh, when all five guys aren't engaged in the play, or when we're not spaced well offensively and all five guys aren't engaged in the play, we're not a very good team. Um, and I think so that it all starts with, um, you know, us all being very good at our jobs on both ends of the court. And, you know, we'll see, we'll see where we can get. I think that we can be a good team if we do that well. Um, like many other teams, we're building towards that. We're not there yet. All right, we'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, Coach. Mm -hmm.